Now we want to complete the path for reset functionality, but first we need to add the link to the profile page. Great. Now back to home controller inside profile post, we want to check if the user provided current password, which means that in that case, he want to change the password. Now inside here, we want to check if the password that user provided is the same as the one in the database. So right here, we are checking if the current password is not equals to the one in the database. And in that case, we are returning user back with an error message. And now we actually want to display that error message somewhere here. And this block of code is not going to do it because this is the session based error message and this is the one from validation. Now let's check if it actually works. And as you can see, we are good to go. Now we want to check if the current password and new password are the same.
Now let's add some validation for the current password and new password fields. Now here we have two validations that we haven't used before and basically what Min does is it's not going to accept this field if it doesn't have at least six characters. What confirmed is doing is basically checking for the new password confirmation field and making sure that it's the same as the new password. And if everything goes well, we can basically set the password that has been provided by the user. At the end, let's add this success. As you can see, validation is working, but let's see what would happen if we actually try to change the password. And we forgot to change this parameter here. So let's try to do it again by changing our new password back to the old one. And as you can see, password changed successfully. But let's see, is it going to work if we only want to set the name? And as you can see, it's working fine.